Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. I need to go buy some plants, so I thought I would make a come garden centre shopping video with me. No, come garden centre shopping with me video, that makes more sense. Yeah, so the first place I'm going to go is actually going to be Tesco's. I know it's not really a garden centre, but I do find their plants, sorry about the noise, are really hardy. It takes quite a lot to kill off a Tesco's or basically any supermarket plant, so that's where I'm going to head first. Tesco's was a complete disaster, I shouldn't have bothered. It's one of those places I guess you just have to time it right or buy it when you see it because last time I was in there there were three quite tall sort of racks at the end of some aisles full of plants but this time they just had a couple of box plants and a couple of quite ropey fuchsias. So no there wasn't really a lot of choice there, they had some beautiful cut flowers so I came out with some reduced pink tulips. I got these for £1.50 instead of £6 so quite pleased with that. They don't quite look their best but I think they're going to last a few days yet. I bought some shorts and I bought a cushion for the living room so it wasn't a complete waste of time. <laughs> So now I've come to a place called Rocky Mountain Nursery and that is sort of halfway between uh, Wells and I suppose if you're coming out of Wells going towards Bath it's sort of in that direction. We're right near Macebury Hillfort if that helps <laughs> and you can park here and have a good walk up the hill and see a view for miles right across to Glastonbury Tour which is worthwhile if you'd like to do that. I say this place I haven't been to for a couple of years actually so unless it's changed it's the sort of place where I have to say the plants are not fantastically well looked after they're sort of when you're in a chain garden center I think when the plants are past their best they take them off the shelves and chuck them away whereas here they're left and they're not reduced either so you do have to ch check the plants over before you buy them but on the flip side the prices are so much more reasonable than other garden centers in the area so I've come here hopefully find some nice plants seen this before. I'm very tempted to get one of these ferns for the house. Oh it's a palm, not a fern. It's a shame the colours are mixed. I want this colour and I want this colour and I might even do that colour but I don't like that sort of luminous yellow and I'm not keen on the white actually either. Oh that's so annoying, they're only £2. See only £2 for a whole tray. I mean you're not going to get those prices anywhere else. You're not going to get that in Dobby's that's for sure. Is it worth paying £2 just for the colours I like? Okay, I'm going to have to take back some of what I said earlier. I think they've either had new management or some more enthusiastic staff, but I'm in the rose section and uh, usually when I'm in the rose section, that's where you see like half of them are just dead or the pots are just empty or just full of weeds. And um, I have to admit, there are still some that could do with a little more water. But on the whole, they all look quite well looked after and cared for. They've got some really, really pretty ones. And I wasn't here for roses, but I'm getting tempted, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, if you're after roses, come here. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. Look, and they keep going here. Although these, these ones aren't in flower yet. And they've got loads of tree roses there as well. I have to say, I'm impressed. Oh, look, oh, these are all roses too. Okay, this is looking like bamboo over here and I am after some bamboo. And in the bottom of the screen, you're getting a sneak peek at what I picked up. <laughs> mm, there's quite a pungent smell of manure down here though. Now the bamboo in Dobby's, 
Okay, it was a, quite a tall one and quite bushy, but it cost £65. So let's see how much that compares to these. £26, but this is shorter. Just having a look around to see if they've got any taller ones because we need it for screening sort of straight away. Hmm. No, I don't think so. That one is pretty tall. I might have found my way back to that one. Then you've got rows and rows and rows of fruit trees on that side. Fruit plants on the other. I've got some climbing flowers, clematis and and there's passion flowers over on the other side. I've just rested my trolley down and I'm just coming this way just to double check they haven't got any taller bamboos. Oh, what are these things? No, they're trees. <laughs> They've got other ornamental plants over here. Gosh, I forgot how big this place is. Got things growing over there and those polytunnels. It's huge. Okay, no, it doesn't look like they've got taller bamboos. I've decided I'm gonna pay 25 pounds for a shorter one that isn't gonna be quite tall enough to screen the cars away from our patio. That's why I wanted it. I think I'm gonna sacrifice that rather than spend 65 pounds on a taller one because that's just a hell of a lot of money to spend on a plant, particularly a plant in a pot when we're going on holiday. <laughs> Although this year, where have I left my trolley? Although this year our holidays are only one, we're doing one week. We're doing one week in Italy, which is exciting. Uh, so that vlog's coming up. And then we've got, where is my trolley? <laughs> I'll go through here. And then we've got uh, another week away in autumn, which we haven't fully really decided where we're gonna go yet. So if anyone's got any recommendations for somewhere, sort of short haul, but sort of medium haul. So still warm end sort of October then that would be good. Now all I've got to do is fit those plants in that car. <laughs> no problem I'm sure. Now I was gonna sort of show you what I bought as I put them in but I think I'll have to show you what I bought as I take them out again because of the noise of that. I'm not sure what it is. Some sort of machine over there. Uh, so yeah wish me luck getting these home in Jude's car. <laughs> Well, it was a good job I went to the Rocky Mountain Nursery first because at five o'clock it looked like it was closing. So that's just as well because I've now come to Dobby's. I know I mentioned Dobby's is a lot more expensive, but the Rocky Mountain Nursery is literally that. It's just a plant garden centre. It's not all the nice fun stuff that you get in other garden centres. So I've come to Dobby's to have a look at the other stuff. I did actually come here at the weekend and had a bit of a look around and I think there's some, I don't know if they're wallflowers, but they had some very pretty sort of pastely coloured flowers I'm going to come back for. And I don't know, I'm going to have a look at the garden bits and bobs as well. This is the furniture set we nearly, we so nearly bought the other day. This is 0% interest. <laughs> It's much nicer than the one we did buy, but for £2,000 cheaper, we decided it was worth the compromise. I like that little tree. I really like these bits and pieces. I'm not quite sure what's that for. Do you plant different plants in each one? Or is it for bottles of wine or something? Bottles of cider in there? Not really sure it's worth that, to be honest. Oh, that's a clever little door wedge. I really like this cushion as well. I don't know if you can get the texture of that. Well, that's pretty too, and I like the pom-poms. I just can't bring myself to pay £30 for a cushion. But then you see, £35 for this doesn't then seem so bad. Oh, I like these copper vases. That is nice. It's 
See, that for £25 doesn't seem so bad. Oh, I like that. That's very beach house, isn't it? And so are these. I love all the garden lanterns that you get in the shops at this time of year. The only problem is I already have enough garden lanterns. There's only so much space for garden lanterns. <laughs> at least we have a place now that we've done our patio. I don't know if you've seen that video yet. I don't know if it's gone up yet, but um, we've just recently done our pat a sort of, well, a patio area out of the bottom of our drive. So at least we have a place now to put the things like this. Oh, I like these. I love these hanging mirrors. Do you know that's reasonable? $13.99. But then, just a picture frame is $35. Hmm. And I'm not impressed with these plasticky looking flowers, to be honest. Look at them. That's ridiculously unrealistic for $5.99. I'm tempted by the mirror. I am tempted by the mirror. <laughs> More lovely lanterns. That's good. Yeah, look, this one here. Large oblong lantern for £13.99. And do you know what? I could plant plants in that indoors instead. Like have it like a terrarium. Where though? It's pretty big. Hmm. I love these watercolour cushions. They're gorgeous. And it's got like little, I don't know, not really quite pom-poms. And look, there's one with birds. And I like this as well. Oh, it's a bit, a bit crinkly, but look at the price. I can't bring myself to spend £35 on a cushion, unfortunately. I do like this simple style of painting. I wish I could do that. Oh, they're coming to look. So I've got quite a big aquatic section in here, so if you're a fishy person, then Dobby's and Shepton Mallet is your place. Should I head out yet? No, I'm going to have a look at the outdoor eating stuff. Tell me this, do I need a set of plates and cups and all that for eating in the garden? I don't know, we don't, my children aren't little anymore. It's not like I need childproof crockery, but you do get some nice ones, don't you? Is it just an excuse to buy some nice new plates, actually? No, their plate section was tiny. That was it, they've just got these. Nope, I think this is all I can see for outdoory, plasticky sort of ones. Tesco's had a better selection and I didn't even show you. They had some nice blue bowls, but I don't really want to do blue. Okay, no, I think I'm going to head outside. This is all sort of barbecue-y stuff. Oh, I like this. I really like that. Oh, I like the pheasant. I like the pheasant as well as the peacock. And they're solar powered. So I think there's all lights inside and they light up at night. <gasps> oh, I love peacocks. Oh, and you get a bonus cobweb. Not so keen on the owl, I have to say. Don't these things really annoy you? There's one there. There's one there. There's another one over somewhere that I can hear. <sighs> Oh, there's some pretty clocks there. These are nice. I've actually been quite a long time so far, so I'm sorry, I'm not going to be showing you as much of Dobby's as perhaps you might like to see. Well, let me know. I don't know. I mean, we all know that Home Sense shop with me's and top shop top shop with me's and things are, are popular let, I, i've never seen a garden center come shop with me before so do let me know if you if you like this sort of video and if you'd like me to come back i mean this is very close to where i live this one and i wouldn't mind going to some bit further afield as well yeah do let me know if you like this video is the music too loud and i'll come back i'll do a bit more but i need to get home i've got some videos to edit <laughs> so i'm just going to grab a few things that i that I've spotted that I like the look of and then I'm gonna get on because yeah it's near the end of the day already white fox gloves I love them there were like silvery leaves at the end of our garden we've got a space I haven't really shown it to you it's 
very very overgrown I need to spend a few days cutting back all the brambles but um, when I do when I get that sorted it is sort of gradually becoming my white garden I do love white flowers I'm not going to get those now but when I've sorted out that part of the garden I think I will well I'll see if I can find some a bit cheaper they are £10 a pot and I think to have a good impact you need a, a few I think I'll leave them there for now but they're beautiful I tell you what it smells lovely in here <laughs> we got it in hello I'm back finally I feel like I've been gone the entire day I've just finished lugging all the plants in from the car and I'll give you a little little plant haul has anyone else on YouTube done a plant haul I'd be interested to know let me know who they are because I need to find some like-minded people on YouTube so here's what we've got do they look lovely all grouped together can you spot a colour theme I'm not actually sure the lavender goes I think it's got a bit too much of a bluey tone so I might put that somewhere else so if you're interested oh, let me just uh, take a seat so if you're interested let's go through what we've got prunella blue pearl I got two of those because they were only £1.50 and I got this one which was called Aubrietta Deltoidea <laughs> is that Dr oh Dr Mules I thought that was Dr Mubes then I mean, that was 2 95 as you can see I picked up this tray of petunias they were reduced these are from Dobby's um, they were originally 5 99 I got them for 3 99 the pink ones I'm not sure if they go I think they might be a bit too pink these ones are fine but I might uh, put those elsewhere so this is just to fill up the gaps really Stinkerbell I'm busy so what else I got the poppy from Dobby's that was a bit more pricey it was $8.99 but there's lots of buds here so I'm hopeful for a nice sort of show of them and I'm also hopeful that they will seed everywhere and we'll get lots more next year got a little I love I thought this was just a really unusual color sort of peachy pink pink <laughs> and again there's lots of buds there so I think this was only £1.50 Vinca Minor now I think this has generally finished flowering there was look, yeah look one purple flower on there this one which I thought was called scabious but where's the label oh it just says perennial special mix not sure what that is but anyway that was 3 95 oh this one this was Dobby's this was three uh four for ten pounds which I thought was okay so I've got this one and I'm not going to try and pronounce that. I'll leave that to your imagination. And the purple one, all similar sorts of things. And this sort of dark red, rich red. Oh, the fourth one, I got a daisy, yeah, because I like this sort of rich color. So this is a lupin, I love that color. Behind that, that was a foxglove. What's this called? Gium. And uh, that's quite a tall one, but I thought that was really pretty. And I put the bamboo here. Um, it's not looking very attractive at the moment. We still need to finish clearing up. There's obviously lots of weeds here to sort out. Hopefully it'll keep growing and getting bushier and taller because we've got this sort of gap and that's what it's meant to be covering. So we've got a flower bed here which looks beautiful when the bluebells are in flower. We've got a bit of campanula, this lilac one which sort of threads its way through. So, but mostly the, at the moment this is bindweed and buttercup. But really when the blue, as soon as the bluebells go we need something to replace it. So I bought two foxgloves, £3.95 each. I got two of them from Rocky Mountain and then from Dobby's and I saw these at the weekend and I'm so pleased I didn't buy them then because they were £7.99 and I was running up and down the aisles I couldn't find them and Dobby's was about to close and then I spotted them on a sale rack they've been so they've been reduced to £3.99 these sort of pastel shades these sort of beautiful dusky pastel shades of um these are wallflowers so I grabbed two of those and I wish now I'd got more maybe because they're so unusual I've just stood the rose here for a minute look at the size of that bloom isn't it gorgeous oh it's called Mrs John Lang and I love I love scented roses oh it's gorgeous okay then we've got a collection of three plants that I bought for inside the house my friend Lorraine made me a basket and I wanted to put something special in it I haven't decided which so I got this fan oh I love it and I thought for 19 pounds no it's not a fern I keep calling it a fern it's not it's a palm I thought that was quite good value I bet in Petersham nurseries these cost double <laughs> I love this I thought it was so unusual I love this sort of pink papery lantern flowers and that's called that 
<laughs> so I'm hoping that I managed to keep these two alive because obviously they're a little more a little more pricey than the others and then I got this which is a fern and that's for inside as well and that was four pounds fifty and lastly one more thing and this was actually sort of on rain's request I got a hanging basket right okay so that's everything I have to say I do miss a good mooch around a garden center where we lived in Kent before we moved here to Somerset I would say within a 30 minute radius of our house. I reckon there was about eight garden centres to choose from. Whenever you're at a loose end at a weekend, it was always lovely to look around a garden centre. But here, where we live, within a 30 minute radius, we've got the two I've just been to and that's it. There are some things that they don't do as well over here in Somerset and uh, garden centres is one of them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed looking around. Have you seen them? Look at my honeysuckle. I mean, I can't take credit for it. That was there before we moved here, but it smells so divine. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed coming garden centre shopping with me. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and please let me know in the comments because I'm quite happy to do more of this. <laughs> Please hit that subscribe button below if you haven't done already, particularly if you want to see the videos where I show you when the plants are planted. I've got a video on the go about doing up this whole new patio area, so when that's finished, it it'll have the, those plants in. I've got a video on the go about just doing up the garden, tidying it up generally, so that will show you when those are planted. And I've got a video going, <laughs> I've got so many videos on the go at the moment. There's one inside the dining area of our kitchen where I'm doing a sort of a nice display area and that will be where those indoor plants go. So those videos are all coming up. I think that's everything to say. Thank you for watching. See you next time, bye.